That's a lot of information, and I'm going to use a word I've never used before. There's sufficient, call it. There is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do we know, or does anybody know, you've talked about Mexico being at 30 percent, somebody's at 60, somebody at 10. Of the bottles that are coming into California, do we know right now what their recycled level is? I can't speak to that. What I can share you, with you are those numbers based on the material we provide and those estimates. And, and I will be clear, those are estimates based on the material we provide. Other questions? Senator Pan, you may close. Well, I appreciate the discussion. I know there's a lot of issues that have come up, um, but I would just make note that, uh, um, you know, with all the concerns uh, regarding the, um, the uh, recycling program, that uh, this is the uh, uh, this is basically the only vehicle. Uh, we want to continue to work with everyone and address those issues, but I do think that it's important that uh, we keep this moving forward, and uh, uh, I respectfully ask for an I vote. All right. Um, I think I'm going to join uh, Senator Jackson on this debate. Uh, as I've listened, I've tried to keep an open mind on where to, to land here. I'm not have, I don't have a recommendation. I'm not going to uh, vote on this. I'll just ask to call the roll and see how it goes. Item 17. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I got, I'm, I'm going to pass out here. No. <laughs> Mr. Chair, yes. I just thought uh, coming in late to the debate, there was a comment as I was leaving. I heard on um, the uh, TV that the, the discussion was maybe it should be held in committee because it seems like we're kind of approaching just one component of it and it's so complex. Uh, is it something that if we hold in committee and we can get to uh, a more focus on whether this needs to be looked at in totality, comprehensively, or just one? area of it that's not before us it, oh, okay. it was Sorry. we we it, it's out there all right okay. every bill could be held in committee yeah. I guess <laughs> but it's uh, it's we're we're legal. going to call the roll item 17 committee. item 17 SB 732 by Senator Pan the motion is due pass and refer to Committee on Appropriations Senator Zwykowski not voting Gaines, Bates, Not voting. Hill, Jackson, Leno, aye. Leno, I, Tabley. All right, you have one vote. Um, we'll keep the roll open, uh, and we will thank you for your presentation and move on to item number three. Before we hit the five-hour mark, this is so, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Is it appropriate for me at this time, if the if the cl at the close, given that yeah, we would right. get grant reconsideration? Abs absolutely, if, I if, was... if, if it's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. This is underground wells once again, Senator Pavley. Water. Water. Our water wells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Not to be confused with the other. Once issue. again, once again, Senator Papley, your well logs. Congratulations. <laughs> this is SB 20. This is item number three, our last item. Yes. And may I note for the record that an expeditious approval of this will allow us all to move on with our day. <clears throat> Um, I was going to start out with a quote because we just heard this in Natural Resources and Water a couple of weeks ago, I think kind of maybe just Senator Jackson and myself. Um, Sacramento B editorial who was supporting this particular bill said, in times of drought when every drop counts, we ought as Californians be able to count every drop. I think that about sums it up. Um, Ten out of the eleven Western states have what is similar to this, well logs. Um, they, are not, they are not concerned about privacy. They're concerned about accuracy of information and transparency and ability to understand the hydrology of the, of the area they're drilling. In fact, in 10 of those 
in, in those states, all this information is posted on the internet. It's transparent, it's accountable, it's accessible. This is sort of an antiquated law that went into effect back in 1951 for whole different reasons that needs to be changed, given, especially given the drought. So what this does is every time a well is drilled, right now the driller is already required by law to provide DWR a well completion report that's filed with the state of California. That's each time a well is drilled. It's really helpful information for groundwater managers, consulting hydrologists or neighbors who want to drill a well to be able to understand the characteristics of the groundwater basins. Unfortunately, many of those who would benefit from, benefit from it cannot have access to it, at least for the last 50 years. I mentioned we're the only Western state without it. Um, I carried SB 263 uh, a couple years ago to make well completion reports available to the public. Had to amend it over in the assembly because they wanted to restrict information to persons with specific specific professional qualifications. The governor vetoed the bill and he said he wants information to uh, be more accessible to the public and directed us to work with DWR. So we have, and that's the bill uh, before us today. Um, this bill would make well logs available to the public, requires persons requesting a report to do so on a form identifying the name and address of the requester. So this is not posting everything on the internet so everyone can see. You actually have to come into DWR, fill out a form, name, address, why you need information. So if there is security concerns later on because uh, there's some paranoia that someone's going to go steal your pipes or your plumbing or your copper or whatever, you have the information of the thief on file. Um, you requ it requires the release of well logs to comply with the privacy and other provisions of the Information Act. Uh, this bill addresses and resolves the various security concerns raised by D DHS, Calima, and it's been negotiated with all, including DWR, as for your I vote. Very good. Is there anyone here in favor of uh, SB 20? This is... Please come forward. Go ahead. Is the evening yet? Good no, afternoon. Not yet. Uh, Chair and members, Pablo Garza with the Nature Conservancy here in support, and I think real simply, this is an information access bill, and it will allow us a, a greater understanding of our groundwater, the condition of our groundwater aquifers, and is even more important in light of the passage of the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act last year. We urge your support. Debbie Ors, representing Community Water Center, Clean Water Action, and Leadership Council for Justice and Accountability. All of our organizations work with communities that have uh, no access to drinking water. The drought has affected everyone throughout the state. We support this bill because ac public access to well log information will allow more efficient and sustainable management of our groundwater resources, protecting and benefiting all users of groundwater. Um, communities can use this information to locate new wells. They'll yield, new, yield, yield drinking water. And this integrates well with Sigma as the information can be used to create models and maps that can help create better and more efficient groundwater management plans. We look forward to working with Senator Pavley and to ensure this bill is successful. Thank you. Next. Marlene Dumain with the East Bay Municipal Utility District in support. Thank you. Uh, Kelly Ditto on behalf of California League Conservation Voters in support. Olivia Regalia for Sierra Club California in support. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and members. Rosanna Carvacho on behalf of the Groundwater Resources Association of California in strong support of this bill. The Groundwater Resources Association is made up of professionals that work in groundwater management, um, academics, as well as consultants working with uh, water managers throughout the state. And having access to this information is very crucial to them to be able to do their jobs. And with the passage of the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act last year, thanks to Senator Pavley as well, there's going to be a need for a lot of this information to be able to really um, do the work that is necessary to manage our groundwater basins. And we ask for your support. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone uh, from the agricultural community that is opposed to public access of well logs? Please come forward. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, and please. Good go afternoon. Uh, 
Bob Reeb with Reeb Government Relations, and I represent both agricultural and urban agencies that are opposed to the bill. And like the members and the staff, I feel like maybe this morning I missed a birthday at some point, but I'll, I'll try and be brief. Um, I think that the issue here really is public disclosure versus disclosure to those who need this information in order to model groundwater basins and to implement the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act. Let's all be clear. Local agencies, state agencies, environmental consultants, anyone that needs this information for groundwater monitor monitoring, groundwater management, well drilling, has access to this information. I think it's unfortunate that the committee analysis is silent on the principal subject of interest to this committee, and that is our public water systems and the safety of our drinking water. I represent the Desert Water Agency, a public water system. Public water systems and groundwater wells and everything that goes along with that are designated as critical infrastructure by the United States Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, post 9-11, we have been required, every public water system in California has been required to develop a vulnerability assessment and provide that to state agencies and the federal agencies. That vulnerability assessment is not subject to disclosure under the California Public Records Act, and it includes the exact location of groundwater wells. So with this law, in effect, you are creating a conflict, both in state law and federal law, amongst public water systems who are charged with protecting the public health and protecting their systems. Uh, we would uh, encourage a no vote on the bill. Can you, before you're done, Senator Pavley's introductory remarks was that all the other Western states have public uh, well notification. How is that so if it's in conflict with federal those, law? Those were done prior to 9-11 and this new um, critical infrastructure information handling system that was put into place post 9-11. And in fact, not all of the states have this information online. I, I believe Colorado uh, has the information available to the public, but it's not online. We, we're going to, but normally in, in the law, if there's, if there's a conflict on point between federal law and state law, we in the state lose. <laughs> Federal law prevails, but put that aside for a second. Next witness against. There we go. Gail Delahant with Western Growers Association. We are opposed to the bill. Um, much like um, my colleague, Mr. Reeves, said, we believe that um, since the passage of this Sigma uh, law, everyone doing groundwater management in this state has access to these well logs. So we don't believe this is any no longer um, uh, needed. The other thing is it is co conflicts with the State Water Resources Control Board. In the Irrigated Lands Program, we do water monitoring on our wells. All that information is submitted to GeoTracker. It's uh, skewed to a half mile. It's not the exact well location. And this bill creates um, actually a conflict with the State Water Resources Control Board Gamma program. Um, submission of well information, well level information is state law. So everyone who has a well has to submit their elevation um, in it. That's current. So we are much like the privacy concerns that was talked about re relating to the um, cars <laughs> that gather our, our information in our cars. Um, Ted Gaines is still yeah, out Ted Gaines. Right. <laughs> We have the same concerns with this well log bill. I mean, the same concerns with privacy that mm -hmm. um, you folks were concerned with on that. We have these same concerns. So we oppose the bill. All right, next. Thank you, Chair members. Danny Merkley with the California Farm Bureau Federation. In the spirit of making sure Mr. Reeb does not miss another birthday in here, I will be very brief mm -hmm. because he's looking a little old as it is. Um, 
the um, we believe the Sustainable Groundwater uh, Management Act last year that was passed uh, does offer significant reforms, and as a result of that, we think the uh, information in here is unnecessary. That those that need that information do have access to it right now. Um, with regard to the other Western states um, that do make this information uh, available, um, I'm. I'm a little bit confused because if we're going to gauge what we do in this state by what all the other western states do, I, I think we're going to be looking at a lot of changes in this state uh, as a result of that. So I'm a little confused by that. And I will suggest that uh, with my two-hour conversation with the B editorial board last week, um, I did mention to them that uh, I appreciated the opportunity to talk to them. but their editorials don't always match up with the realities that I deal with in the real world. So I'm not real sure about um, the B and their their editorials with regard to how this this bill would pertain. So uh, with that, we would respectfully ask for a no vote. Hi. Hi, Margo Parks on behalf of Family Winemakers of California. I um, want to align myself with the comments that were made previously. Um, DWR already has access under existing law to well reports. Um, DWR, obviously, the agency which manages and is overseeing the implementation of groundwater. Um, so we believe that this is sufficient access, and we would encourage your no vote. Thank you. Valerie Nera for the California Chamber of Commerce, and we oppose bill. Good afternoon. Trisha Geringer, Agricultural Council of California, also in opposition. Mr. Chair, members, Kendra Dijogo with the Guagal Group on behalf of the Kings River Water Association and the Kings River Conservation District in opposition. Thank you. Okay. Um, that's the end of the opposition. Um, members, does anybody have the energy to ask a question? <laughs> Senator Jackson. Yes, I'd like to thank the Senator for bringing this bill. Someone who comes from the East Coast, uh, although I've lived here for probably 40 years, the notion that we live in a semi-arid desert in Southern California and that the state has had water issues since its inception, the fact that we have such a paltry system of accountability and uh, um, strategies to deal with water is just profoundly amazing to me. And uh, the fact that people are coming in now and claiming this is a privacy issue is equally as amazing to me. Um, water is a right that we all have because it is a fundamental uh, part of life. Without water, we do not survive. We know that historically there are uh, tribes and nations that have gone to war because they don't have sufficient water. So we're not talking about widgets. We're talking about water. And um, if we cannot have any kind of um, control over uh, uh, in the monitoring and the management of water, and you can't do any of that unless you can measure it, uh, the notion that um, people feel that they don't, uh, that they can use as much as they want, whenever they want, however they want, in a very limited supply where we have communities throughout the state that don't have adequate water, don't have adequate drinking water, I think is, is a really serious problem in the state. And it's my hope that as we go forward and we address the serious drought that we're in, we recognize that we are all in this together and that water is one of the fundamental elements of life. This is, again, not discretionary. Water is critical to life. And so um, I want to thank you. I know this has not been an easy effort. I know there's a lot of opposition. I would just hope that as we go forward and recognize that this is a limited resource, much more limited than in most places, that we try to figure out how we can come together as a state and continue to provide for the basic fundamental needs of the people of California. Uh, and if there is an opportunity, I would like to join in as a co-author of this bill. Okay. And I will move the bill. And there's a motion. Other questions of the author? Senator Pavley, you may close. 